So all signs are pointing to Canelo Alvarez versus Jamal Charlo being the next fight made for Canelo Alvarez and happening on May 4th of this year. Now, obviously, this is a fight that's been talked about for a little bit. And yes, this fight isn't 100% confirmed, but Canelo Alvarez made it very clear that Jamal Charlo is likely going to be his next opponent. And on bad left hook, which is, in my opinion, is one of the most probably top two most trusted boxing news websites on their official schedule, which they always have fights that are many months in advance or a few months in advance. They have this fight set for May 4th. Now, obviously, they've gotten it wrong before, but for the most part, they're usually pretty spot on with their up-and-coming up fights. So, Canelo Alvarez versus Jamal Charlo is basically done. It's basically set. In this video, I'll be telling you guys my issue with the fight, my problem with it, and genuinely overall, why I believe it should not be happening next. So, as we all know, there's a lot of other fights that Canelo Alvarez could make. He's a hot commodity in the sport. He's arguably the face of boxing. I still consider him probably the face of boxing over Tank, over Tyson Fury, over Terrence Crawford, over these other guys who are not too far away from Canelo, who are also big stars in the sport. But I still con consider Canelo Alvarez the biggest name in the sport, even above Anthony Joshua as well, even though I do think that is very close. And when considering that Canelo is the face of boxing and he can make many fights and Considering that Jamal Charlo may not necessarily be a bad fighter, he obviously isn't. He's obviously a very talented fighter, a very skilled fighter, and a fight that we've actually wanted to see for a few years now. Objectively, this fight should not be happening next. And in my opinion, it's genuinely a very bad look on Canelo Alvarez's end that he is doing anything in his power to avoid a David Benavidez fight. I think it's very clear and very apparent that Canelo Alvarez has very little if not any interest in fighting David Benavidez. That's the fight that we've been wanting to see for a while now. It's the fight that should 100% be happening next. And I truly don't understand why Canelo Alvarez has done anything in his power to avoid a Benavidez fight. Let's look at what Benavidez did last year. I would say Benavidez in 2023, both wins that he got last year are better than any win Jamal Charlo has on his entire resume. Jamal Charlo has not beaten any fighter on Caleb Plant's level. I want to make that very clear. He has not. Beating an undefeated Julian J-Rock Williams is a very good win. J-Rock was looking very good at the time. A lot of people were actually picking J-Rock to beat Charlo. I wasn't one of them, but I still respect the fact that J-Rock was considered a very high-level guy at 154 and did have a good shot of winning the fight and was a really good fighter. He's not on the level of Caleb Plant. He's not on the level of Demetrius Andre. Let's be honest here. Let's not be ob let's, let's be objective here. J-Rock, he beat Jarrett Hurd a few years later, but that's really all he was able to accomplish in his career after getting stopped by Jamal Charlo. And prior to getting stopped by Jamal Charlo, he was more of a contender, if anything. When you look at the other wins that he's gotten in his career, and you see what he's done lately as well, he beat Austin Trout. That's a nice little win, but come on, that doesn't compete with Caleb Plant or Demetrius Andre. Who did he beat recently? Juan Macias Montiel, the same Montiel that got stopped in three rounds by Carlos Adamas. If anything, we should be getting Jamal Charlo versus Carlos Adamas next. But Charlo has moved up in weight, so obviously we're not getting that fight. If you look at his last one against Jose Benavidez, Jose Benavidez got dragged up two weight classes, I believe. He was at 147 against Crawford, then he moved up to 154 to fight Danny Garcia, lost to Crawford and Danny Garcia, and he gets dragged up to 168 to fight Jamal Charlo. What did you guys expect? Did you guys really think Benavidez had a shot in that fight, moving up two weight classes? And even then, he gave Charlo not necessarily a tough fight, but he, he stuck around the entire fight. He had his moments, and it just was not a great performance from Jamal Charlo. Charlo has done nothing to warrant a fight versus Canelo Alvarez. And if you look at what Canelo Alvarez has been doing lately, he's a guy that has received a lot of credit for his resume and his opposition. And I am one of those people that does give him credit for his resume. I do give him credit for his opposition. You know, fighting Triple G three times, even if Triple G was out of his prime in those fights. That's very impressive. Fighting Danny Jacobs, fighting an out of prime, but still good Sergey Kovalev. Yes, he was out of his prime, but he was still a very good fighter. When you look at him fighting Dimitri Bivol, when you look at him fighting Caleb Plant, Billy Joe Saunders, Callum Smith, Canelo Alvarez does not get any hate from me when it comes to the level of opposition he's fought. However, since his defeat to Dimitri Bivol, his opposition has been very poor, and he's honestly slipping out of my pound for pound list. I'm not even trying to be funny. He's probably going to get bumped down one spot by the time the Jamal Charlo fight is all said and done. Let's look at it here objectively, right? After losing to Dimitri Bivol, he took on Triple G for a third time, which was a bit of a grudge match, so I don't really have too much against the fight. I enjoy seeing it. I want to see it get made. 
But I could acknowledge that Triple G was coming off a win against Murata, he was a unified champion, and obviously they have a strong past. So I don't have too much of an issue with Canelo Alvarez fighting Triple G a third time. After that, what did he do? He fought John Ryder, the same John Ryder that Munguia just stopped, by the way. And I understand Canelo beat him first, but John Ryder, he was a, an okay name. He wasn't terrible. He was coming off a of Jacobs win, which most people, including myself, felt he didn't deserve. But he had a little bit of momentum coming into a Canelo Alvarez fight, so I don't fully hate on it. But come on, guys. Canelo versus John Ryder, no one wanted to see that fight. If we wanted to see that fight, we wanted to see it back in 2020 after John Ryder got robbed against Callum Smith all those years back. In 2023, no one wanted to see that fight. After that, he dragged Jermel Charlo up two weight classes. He did exactly what Jermel Charlo did, except with Jermel's brother, Jermel. He, dr he dragged him up two weight classes, a fight no one wanted to see. And even then, even in that fight against Jermel Charlo, Jermel Charlo was a really good undisputed champion, but he wasn't a guy that anyone gave much of a shot of beating Canelo Alvarez. I gave him no chance, pretty much. I actually predicted the fight perfectly. I said Canelo Alvarez would win a wide decision with Jermel fighting on the defensive. I thought it might be a little closer, but overall I got it pretty much spot on. So Canelo Alvarez has not been fighting who we've been wanting to see him fight, and him fighting Jermel Charlo, who has done nothing in years. After Montiel, which, when did he fight Montiel? Was it, was it in 2021? June of 2021, right? He fights Montiel, looks terrible, struggles, gets rocked. Not necessarily rocked, I should say, but gets hit for a lot of big shots, gets buzzed a little bit in the fight, and wins a wide but unimpressive, uninspiring decision against Montiel. He takes a two-year layoff and then beats Jose Benavidez moving up two weight classes. Jamal does not deserve this fight. Even if he did deserve this fight, which I personally don't think he does, I don't give him much of a shot against Canelo Alvarez. Now, it does have a little bit of a, of a backstory, a little bit of drama, if you want to put it that way, where Jamal and Jamal clearly seem to have had a falling out as of late, which is unfortunate to see. And if them having this falling out and it definitely being more Jamal on following Jamal and not showing up to his fight, it seems that Jamal wants to patch it up, at least from what I can tell, right? Jamal seems to be the guy that wants to patch it up more than Jamal. I guess for Jamal's sake, he could... He could do a scenario in this bout where he fights against Canelo Alvarez and he's doing it to get revenge for his brother. And by getting revenge for his brother, they become close again. It's a nice little story that they can put in the movie in 15, 20 years from now. My brother was mad at me. He didn't show up to my fight. I didn't hold any resentment towards my brother Jermel. I took on the guy that beat him and I got revenge for my brother Jermel. Now we're, now we're close again. So there's a little bit of a possible storyline that could be made from this fight with him getting revenge for his brother Jermel Charlo. But first of all, he's not going to win, in my opinion. I really don't see him winning. I don't know what he can really do to win. Unless Canelo has slowed down much more than I realize, I have no idea what he can do to win. He actually looked pretty solid against Jermel Charlo. I don't think he looked sensational in that fight. I don't think it was the same Canelo that beat Callum Smith. But he did look pretty good against Jermel. He looked pretty sharp and did what he had to do. I don't consider Jermel much of a better fighter than Jermel. I always considered him a more talented fighter than Jermel, and I always felt that Jermel was more gutsy of a fighter and took on the better opponents, but I always felt Jermel would have beaten Jermel if they fought. So I expect him to give Canelo a better fight, maybe lose like a nine rounds to three type of decision. But he's not going to pull off the victory, guys. And this is not a fight that should be made. It should be Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavidez. If, if his opponent's last name doesn't end with the letter B, I don't want to see Canelo involved. If it's not Benavidez... Baturbiev or Bivol, and as we know, Baturbiev and Bivol are fighting each other, which is tremendous news. They're fighting each other. David Benavidez is with the PBC. Canelo Alvarez has a contract with the PBC. Why is he avoiding Benavidez? And here's the thing. I know a lot of people are going to comment and they're going to say, Canelo is going to fight Benavidez in September. Don't worry. I don't think he's going to fight Benavidez in September. You know why I don't think he's going to fight Benavidez in September? Because I expected him to fight Benavidez last September. After Benavidez beat Caleb Plant and Canelo Alvarez beat John Ryder, there was zero reason for them not to fight. And Canelo Alvarez, he took on Jermel, and Benavidez did what a man should do, and he took on a fighter that was honestly high risk, low reward. I know that sounds crazy, but no one really gives David Benavidez that much credit for beating Demetrius Andre when they should, because Demetrius Andre was a high level guy for years, a possible opponent for Canelo Alvarez for years. Benavidez demolishes him, makes him look like a C minus D plus level fighter, and barely anyone gives him credit. I think Benavidez is higher in the pound for pound list than Gervonta Tank Davis, which doesn't mean I have either of them on my list. I don't. 
but I feel he's closer to being on my list than Tank is. Let's look at his resume. His resume has gotten really good. Wins against Andre, wins against Plant, Durrell, when Durrell was a champion. He's beaten good fighters consistently, and I truly respect what Benavides has done in his career. It's a shame he doesn't have a title to show for it, and Canelo Alvarez deserves to give him an opportunity to prove how good of a fighter he is. He deserves that payday because he's earned it. And I know a lot of people are going to make memes and jokes, oh, Benavidez just wants a payday just like Andre did. Benavidez is no Demetrius Andre. We saw he's not by what he did to Andre. Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavidez should have been next. It should have happened last September. That's why I don't think it's going to happen this September. It should have happened last September when he beat Caleb Plant. When he beat Caleb Plant, Canelo beat John Ryder. There's zero reason Canelo had to fight Jermel Charlo. Why did Canelo Alvarez fight Jermel Charlo? I have no clue. It's the most random fight that could have been made. No one was asking for it. Jermel offered Canelo nothing. And he wasn't even that big of a money fight. Yeah, it was a money fight, but not really. Jermel isn't a superstar. He's known, but he's not a superstar. There was no reason for him to fight Jermel Charlo. It should have been Benavidez then, and it should be Benavidez now. And it definitely should be Benavidez in September if both fighters keep winning. If it's not Benavidez in September, Canelo Alvarez is a complete disgrace for completely ducking David Benavidez. You guys tell me down in the comment section below. What do you think about this fight, Canelo and Jamal Charlo? Does Benavidez deserve it? Does he not? All that good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. God bless. I'll see you guys later. Peace.